hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Jimena. last week i told you guys four ways in which i know that i have crammed the topic and i do not understand it at all if you've not seen it please go see it i'll put the link up for you today i'm going to tell you about how i'm able to consciously study a topic to understand if that's what you're here for let's get started in no particular order one way in which i'm able to study a topic without cramming is to do repetitive studying and uh, when i say repetitive studying i mean i try to study a material at least five times before i walk into exam hall and that five times i'm not saying i study it five times in one day i space out my studying i study it five times across the whole semester in quotes or across the whole session let's say the first time i study the material it's just like trying to make my brain to get used to the terms get used to the words at that point i don't try to make myself to understand because trying to understand the topic on the first day you are studying it it would waste time and the second time i study it is still to try to make my brain familiar with the terms familiar with the words at that point there's no too much pressure to understand the topic third time i mean between still trying to get familiar with the terms get familiar with the words and of course trying to understand the concept little by little no pressure at all but the fourth time and the fifth time that's usually most likely the week before exam or the day before exam my dear the pressure is on at least by then my brain had gotten used to those terms at least three times and by then i'm used to those words i'm used to the terms and understanding becomes easier understanding becomes you know smoother and, and sweeter another one is active recall when i finish studying something i try to sit down and, and ask myself what did i learn from this topic i just finished reading and as i'm recalling i'm say, trying to recall those things in my own words in my own terms so if i find that i'm not able to re recall these things in my own words in my own terms so the next time i study it again i take note of those things that i missed another way i try to learn instead of cramming is to teach okay i teach myself i teach my mirror I teach people people that come to me that they don't understand a particular topic i teach them so that's one way i consolidate knowledge and that's one way i'm able to learn it without cramming remember i mentioned in that video that if you cannot teach somebody in your own words either you cram it or you don't even know it at all and another method this one doesn't really work for me i just added it for those people who like to write if you're able to write it out in your own words if you're able to answer questions from that topic and you're able to explain it in your own words in writing by all means that's another thing that's going to help you that's for those who study and write for me nah i don't study and write i study and allow my brain to do the thinking so the next thing is that i don't wait until night before exam before studying a particular topic i start my studying very early in fact from the day that topic was taught i studied that same day i don't close my eyes to sleep until i finish studying it that same day that first reading so it makes it easier for me that i don't wait until it's time for exam week before exam or the night of exam to open a particular topic no i don't do that start your studying early don't wait until night before exam don't wait until adrenaline is at work for you to study because most times you just find out that you're just crammy sorry guys i'm going to upload the rest of this video next week i try to keep my videos at least three minutes long see you next week bye